good day grade 7 students and to my fellow technical drawing teachers. I'm Sir Rafi and welcome po sa ating technical drawing 7 class. At uh, ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon ay tungkol naman sa orthographic drawing. Orthographic drawing comes from the Greek word orthos means to write and grapos means to draw. Again, orthographic drawing comes from the Greek word orthos means to write and grapos means to draw. Orthographic drawing refers to the representation of the exact shape of an object in two or more views as they are seen perpendicularly from its surface. Ano yung tatlong uh, views na yun? Ito yung top view, front view, at right side view. Okay, sa isang object, may tatlo tayong tinatawag na space dimension. At bago yun, sa itaas na view, ang tawag natin doon ay top view. Sa ibaba ng top view ay ang front view. At sa bandang right side ay tinatawag natin right side view. Again, sa isang object o sa isang pictorial drawing, may tatlong view tayong makikita. Ang top view, front view, and right side view. Kung saan ang tatlong dimension na ito o three space dimension ay may tinatawag tayo height. Dito natin kinukuha yung distance or measurement from top to bottom. Again, ang kinukuha natin na sukat from top to bottom ay ang height. Sa Tagalog, ito ay taas. Kapag kinukuha naman natin ang sukat from left to right, ang tawag natin doon ay width. Again, kapag ang distance or measurement na kinukuha natin from left to right ay tinatawag nating width. Kapag naman from uh, front to rear, ang tawag naman natin dito ay depth. Again, Mula sa harapan hanggang sa likod or from front to rear, ang tawag natin doon ay depth. Again, we have three space dimension, the height, width, and depth. Okay, pag ginagawa natin ng isang orthographic drawing, nahahati ito sa tatlong views. We have the top view, kung saan ito yung itsura ng uh, object from top view. Sa ibaba ng top view ay ang front view at sa bandang right side, ito ay tinatawag natin right side view. Ang tatlong ito ay tinatawag natin three main views of orthographic drawing. Lagi nating tatandaan yung space dimensions ng top view at front view pareha silang width. Again, Ang top view at front view, parehas natin kinukuhanan ng width. Ang front view naman at ang right side view, parehas natin kinukuhanan ng height. At ang top view at ang right side view ay parehas natin kinukuhanan ng depth. Again, we have the three main views. The top view, yung nasa taas. Sa ibaba ng top view ay ang front view at sa bandang right side ay right side view. Ang top view at ang front view parehas natin kinukuha na ng sukat o distance na width. Ang front view at ang right side view ay parehas natin kinukuha na ng height o taas. Ang top view at ang right side view ay parehas natin kinukuha na ng distance or measurement na depth. Another three principal views. Kabaligtara ng top view, ang nasa ibaba nito ay ang bottom view. Ang kabaligtara naman ng right side view, which is nasa left side, ang tawag natin dito ay left side view. At ang kabaligtara naman ng front view, which is nasa likod, ang tawag natin dito ay rear view. Again, what are the six principal views? We have the top view, front view, 
and the right side view. The other three are the bottom view, the left side view, and the rear view. Okay class, let's have a short review test about orthographic at samahan na rin natin ng inyong skills sa pagcompute which is the conversion of units. Let's start with this one. Select the front view of the given isometric object. May nakikita kayo dito sa bandang left side ng mga isometric object or given object. Hahanapin nyo lang sa mga choices natin kung ano nga ba ang kanilang front view. Ia-analyze natin mabuti o hahanapin natin mabuti kung ano yung front view ng given object. Asan nga ba ang front view? Yan. So, let's start with uh, first object. Ano kaya ang front view nito? Is it letter A? B? C or D? Okay. The answer is letter D. Again, i-analyze natin mabuti yung object kung ano nga ba ang front view nito. The answer is letter D. How about second object? Is it letter A, B, C, or D? What is the front view of the second object? Okay, the answer is letter A. How about the third object? Is it letter A, B, C, or D? Okay, the answer is letter B. Next, select the correct set of orthographic drawing views for the given isometric object. Now, this time, hahanapin naman natin kung ano ang orthographic views ng ating given object. is letter D. Next question. Tingnan natin ang skills nyo sa conversion. If 12 inches is equals to 1 foot, 60 inches is equals to blank feet. Again, if 12 inches is equals to 1 foot, 60 inches is equals to blank feet. The answer is 5 feet. Next, if 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, how many millimeters is equal to 10 centimeters? If 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, how many millimeters is equal to 10 centimeters? The answer is 100 millimeters. Next, if 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, how many centimeters are equal to 5 inches? If 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, how many centimeters are equal to 5 inches? Okay, the answer is 12.7 inches. Next question. How many inches is equivalent to 1 yard? How many inches is equivalent to 1 yard? The answer is 36 inches. 
next question. Which of the following is the smallest unit under English system? Which of the following is the smallest unit under English system? Inches, yard, or foot? The answer is inches. Alright, how's your scores, grade 7 students? Is it perfect score? If not, just keep on reviewing and watching this video. Good luck on your exam!